A letter written long ago to a father who would never meet his son is now a book that's meant to give hope to others. A changed heart tells a tale of despair and redemption. Dave Crawley has this story. Latasha Grants was 15 and pregnant when she began to write a letter that could never be delivered. A letter to the father of her son. Brandon Lockett was shot dead on a street in Arnold on a warm night in August 2003. Even though I knew he would never receive it, I just had to let those feelings out and talk to him. I guess that was my way of communicating in a way. Last year, she came across those pages and photographs. Friends told her she needed to turn that letter into a book. I chose that picture for the front cover of the book because it really captures the pain that I was in at the time. And you could see the dark circles around my eyes, and it's pretty obvious how young I was. The sadness in those eyes seemed to convey hopelessness. I really, you know, opened myself up to people and I'm not used to doing that, so it was hard to expose my heart like that. <laughs> Times have changed. Brandon Jr. is nearly 13. His mom, 29, is happily married with three more children. But one purpose of her book is to introduce her son to the father he never knew. I just talked about a little bit who his dad was and memories that we had. And then another purpose is I want people to know that their joy really does come in the morning. No matter what you're going through, what you may be facing, you know, it's going to end at some point. And, you know, I just want people to know that God's real. He's alive. He's still working and moving today. And I'm a perfect example of that. How do you feel about your mom? I love her. I'm proud of her. It's everything to me almost. Natasha hopes her book, available on Amazon, will help others. It may start sad, but it doesn't end like that. And it's that way for a lot of people. That sad little girl is no more. Telling the story of a changed heart, I'm Dave Crawley.